Hello, hello, hello. I'm just changing my view of my camera here, making sure you can see my words properly. Backwards still to you. I guess I did have it right. There we go. Hi, I'm Angie. I'm the Shabby Chic Vintage Chick here in Rideau Lakes, Ontario. And I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. What that means is I love the products and I can't help but share them with you as well. Um, I signed up originally because I wanted the amazing discount of 40% off so that I could use it for my own crafting and do craft fairs and for staging furniture. And then I quickly realized how awesome the product was and of course I wanted to share my journey with you guys. So here I am. Today I'm gonna to be working with the Keep It Simple transfer. It can be Keep It Simple or Keep Life Simple. I think I'm gonna go with Keep Life Simple today. I think we're all pretty much keeping life simple lately. Don't have much choice. So I hope you are all having a great day. It was beautiful today here. Um, here in Ontario, it's been a little cold still, but today we hit 18 degrees. It was awesome. Got to go out and do some photos in the yard and stuff. So that was good. And now I thought I'd hop on and do some chalking with you. So what I do first is I cut apart the transfer. It has little white lines so that you know where to cut. Oh, this one has one as well. Just a little line right down the center there. And I'm using my transfer trimmers for these. Regular scissors will work, but these have a nice um, finish to them so it doesn't really stick to the adhesiveness of the transfer. So our transfers are reusable. 8 to 12 times they say, but I've had some that I use well over 20. And they come already with an adhesive back. And where there's usually a hole in a stencil, these have a silk screen. And you just wash them off with water after. The maintenance on these things, so easy. Just looking for a marker here just to write on the backs of them so that I know what these are. Because sometimes I get crafting with a lot of stuff. And I don't want to mix up my backs from my other transfers. Also... You always want to make sure you're putting it back on the shiny side and not on the paper side. And sometimes when you're in a hurry, it can happen. And I know this because I just recently did it. And I felt so silly because I always teach people to write on the backs and I missed out. I goofed. Just gonna take a minute to get this part done. This is gonna go along fairly quickly today. I do have many other projects that I wanna get done as well, so. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go real quickly now because it's saying that I am on a low battery. Should I check that first? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the transfer from the back and sheet, and I'm gonna apply it to our fuzzing cloth. Our fuzzing cloth is a terry cloth towel on one side and a microfiber, really soft microfiber on the other side. And so the terry cloth side is where you add a little bit of fuzz. It just helps keep your transfer last longer because if it sticks down too well and you're pulling it up, it can rip or it can stretch. And so I like to make sure it's well fuzzed. I'm just gonna apply that down. And we're going to move quickly. Like I said, my battery's dying, so I won't get too fancy on this one. If any of you are popping on, I see three people are on right now. If you don't mind, just give me a hashtag live. And where you're from would be awesome. Also, don't forget to hit that little S-H-A-R-E button. Um, my business really depends on it, so please help me out by doing that. So then I'm just gonna apply. I'm gonna peel this one up because I don't want there to be a ridge there. I'm just making sure there's no air bubbles in the transfer area itself, like in the silk screen area. And we're gonna take the simple it. This is going to be so cute though. 
It really is. I do periodically give out little happy mails or um, what else could we call it? Little tokens of appreciation sometimes for sharing. So if you don't mind hitting that, that would be very awesome. Sometimes I just look through and I'm like, hey, this person has done that a few times for me. That is so awesome. I just want to send them a little something. And so you would get a little bit of something special in the mail. I am going to go with the daffodil. And I don't, oh, yes, I do have a stir stick candy. You want it to be the consistency of cake batter. So give it a stir and see if it's too thick or not. You don't want it too thin, but you definitely don't want it too thick either. It's not bad, but I'm gonna give it a little spritz of water. We like to use distilled water when we're using this because sometimes the tap water um, can cause mold in them, where distilled water never does. I'm just gonna grab one of our mini squeegees and quickly dip it in there. I can't see if anybody is actually on. I haven't seen any comments. I hope I'm not missing any. Just peek here. Nope, does not appear to be. You guys are quiet today. That's too bad. I love coming on and chatting with you guys. So I'm just applying it on and quickly squeegeeing it off. Now, if you have any questions about the products, feel free to leave that in the comments. Also, if you wanna know how to become a designer and get that amazing discount on the products and start maybe your own home business. You can sell finished goods, you could sell the Chalk Couture products, you could do workshops, you can, there's so many ways to, to run this as a business. Hi, Bonnie. It is just an amazing company. I don't just say that honestly. I love, love, love this company. It has so much training if you're interested in how to use Facebook and how to use Instagram, how to, um, how to use the products, of course. Just so much um, information if you're looking for help in that kind of stuff. Um, there's help in how to run workshops and just anything you could possibly need. We are part of the largest group of Chalk Couture, so that's handy. So if I don't know the answers, then I can quickly get answers for you because we all work together as a huge team or family. And then I'm just simply squeegeeing it off. And then I'm going to peel it back. The amazing thing about these is unlike your stencils or your, um, your well, I guess it's still stencils, your vinyls that you make with um, the Cricut or the Silhouette or any of those, is that you get amazing details with the silk screen. Which I love, love, love. I used to use the Cricut and the Silhouettes and stuff like that. I had a brother machine and they were great, but you couldn't get these details. So I'm just taking my dryer. This one happens to be the Pro Heater. If anyone's interested in where to get that, I can tell you where I got mine. Just go ahead and ask in the comments. It is used for crafting, for drying paint, for embossing, for a lot of a lot of different crafts. And so far, I love, love, love this one. Had it for a while now. It's been great. All right. Now I'm gonna stick some of the little branches in there too. So again, I'm just gonna stick it down to my fuzzing sheet. Just to pick up a little bit of lint. 
I'm going to stick it right close to that edge. And I don't seem to have another stir stick handy, so I'm going to use my paintbrush. I have them all in a tub to, that I was washing, I guess, and I didn't bring them back over, so. Oh, this one's gonna be perfect. And I'll just set that there. I did have a little bit of splash out. The other thing is, is clean up. It does wash off just with water, but once it's dry, it, it goes rock hard. It's not just gonna do I have another paintbrush here to stir that with? I can't believe I didn't bring stir sticks over. And this one has yellow paint on the end and I don't want to mix the colors. Oh, it's all no good. It'll be fine. So, once it's dry, it's rock hard. But if you change your mind and you want to change out your decor, spritz it down with water. Just let it sit for a second or two. Actually, more than a second or two. Probably about 15 to 30 seconds. And you can literally see it starting to soften. And then you just wipe it back. You can take a board eraser and just give it a little scrub and it comes right off. I should do the video. I've been saying that for a little bit now. I need to do a video with you all on showing you how easy it is to clean the transfers themselves. So with this, I'm just gonna stick a little bit of the, my darker green, which is called, I wanna give you the right names, Rainforest. I want it mainly to be that color, but I do want a tiny bit of this lighter green in there as well. So I'm just gonna take a squeegee that I've cut into three pieces just to make it smaller. I'm just gonna do a few dots of that in there just to give it a little bit of different color. Set that aside, then I'm gonna grab a clean squeegee. I usually have my squeegees on this side, so I'm a little turned around right now. And I'm just gonna squeegee it across and squeegee it back, just making sure I've covered the whole silk screen area. And then wiping back any excess. Now this excess, I'm not gonna stick back into my container, of course, because I don't want that mixed color to corrupt my other ones. There we go. We're looking beautiful. And I'm just going to set this one over to the side because this one came with two. So I'm just going to grab my other one. And I'm going to again fuzz it so that it's not too sticky because I don't want it to stretch or tear when I pull it off. it right up on this side. I think I'm going to bring it down just a touch. Keep looking at my phone here just to make sure that I'm not not going to die here because it did say I was on a low battery so I'm trying to work quickly. All right so I've got my rainforest green. Again I'm just going to do some spots of that through there. I do want it to be mainly the rainforest so And then I'm going to go through with my lighter green. This one happens to be called uh, ooh, Meadow. And I just made a mess. Did you see that? Isn't that nice? We're going to move right along though because I don't want my battery to die. And I'm going to stick that Meadow in there. Just like that. I've got a little bit more that I'd like in there, so I'm just gonna blotch that in there. And I'm gonna toss that aside somewhere to wash after. Where could I set that? I'm gonna set it in one of these handy little white dishes that we get from Chocolate Tour for mixing colors. All right, now with my colored squeegee, I'm gonna just wipe that off onto a cloth or a paper towel, but paper towels are a scarce thing in our area right now. They let you buy one bundle at a time, and I'm not going back to the store each time. 
So I'm just wiping it onto a cloth because it does wash off in the wash anyways. Save a tree, right? And again, squeegeeing off the excess, and I'm just going to wipe that onto that cloth. Then I'm going to pull this back. And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? I'm working one-handed because I'm all green. There we go. I think it's beautiful. I would like to add one more thing to it. So just let me grab this cloth and clean off my hand a bit. So I have two hands to work with. Please don't die on me, phone. <laughs> For those of you that are just hopping on, even though I'm a hot mess, you would be doing me an ultimate favor if you could just hit that little S-H-A-R-E button. My business depends on people sharing that. Now from the next set of transfers that I've got here is the Feathered Friends Collection. There is two adorable birds. They're just cute birds. And I thought it'd be nice to put one right up there. So I'm going to quickly dry this. Hello, Tammy. And we're good. And I'm going to remove the bird from the backer sheet, which I did not label yet, and I should have. And I'm going to apply it to the fuzzing cloth just to pick up the bit of that lint. And then I'm going to simply set him right there. Now, I kind of like the color of a cardinal, but I think I like the color of the female card cardinal, which I believe is the one that's a little duller and not quite as vibrant, right? So, although they're both gorgeous animals, birds, um, it's a little too vibrant of a red for me. I'm not a huge fan of red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of my candy apple red. Again, I do not have enough stir sticks around me. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of it. Set that there. And then I'm going to take a tiny bit of my papaya. I just want to dull down my red just a touch. some of that and put that in there. Now I haven't tried this. It might be a hideous color. Be patient. We'll see how it works. But I'm just thinking it would dull it down just enough. Oh yes, much better. A little less Christmas. Probably add just a touch more. That's the wonderful thing about these. Although they come in many, many, many colors, you can always go back to your basics and mix colors to get the perfect shade that you're looking for. And that, to me, is just much nicer than the bright red that it was. So again, I'm just gonna quickly apply it on. making sure I cover the whole silk screen area. And then scrape back the excess. Unfortunately, I mixed up quite a bit and this will go to waste, unless I can think of another project I'd like with this color on it for today. So I'll just set it aside, just in case I do think of something. And then I'm gonna peel this back Oh, I think that's a perfect touch. And there we go. We are complete. What do we think? 
I think she's gorgeous. It's really pretty. And it's so simple. And of course you can do whatever colors you like to suit your home. And I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I'm using Chalk Couture. I do appreciate all of you stopping by and watching. I really appreciate those that hit that S-H-A-R-E button. And um, I hope you come back and watch more. But do me a favor when you do. Make sure you drop some comments. I'm sitting here talking to myself. People, come on. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, stopping by, spending some of your day with me. And I so appreciate it. You can't see what I'm actually doing? Why not? You couldn't see me apply it? Is the lighting bad? I can see it all. It looks clear here. I do apologize. Um, I will be popping on again later. If you care to give me another shot, I will be popping back on and we'll see if that turns out any better for you. Hopefully you can see me better there, uh, Susie. And uh, so just hit your notifications and you'll know when I come back on. Um, again, I appreciate you all for, for stopping in, spending a bit of your afternoon with me. And I will chat with you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.